Here we are at the Omni Parker House, known as one of the most haunted hotels in all of Boston. Let's get on in there and let's get checked in. Come on. Thank you so much. You. We managed to grab the 10th floor, which is the most haunted floor. We'll get into the history once we get into our room. Let's go find it. It's already kind of spooky. I know. Whenever, I don't know why, but hotel hallways are probably the most creepy part of a hotel. 10,006 right here in this corner. There it is. Wait. We got a suite. <laughs> we rich! <laughs> yeah! She didn't actually tell me how much this was gonna cost, though. All right, whatever. <laughs> Do we have three doors? 10,006, that's this. Yeah, you just opened it and closed it. Oh. Baby, this is what I'm talking about. We got the 4A level, the Fourier. Is that what it's called, Fourier? Fourier? How do you say that word? Fourier? Fourier, I think. Either way, this is our living room area. We got a chill couch where Jake's gonna sleep right here on this chair. Come in here. Oh, look at this. All these doors literally lead into our room. <laughs> That's kind of That's kind of cool. We got our king bed, which Jake and I will be sharing. 10 floors up on the most haunted hotel in Boston. This Check be crazy. out this view. Look at this. Out of my butt! What the hell are you doing? Stop <laughs> it! Stop it! Oh my god. Okay, guys. So our room is pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how much I'm paying for this. Either we were just really nice to the lady and she hooked it up big time for us, or we got lucky as hell, or I'm paying for this. I don't really know, to be honest. I didn't really ask for the, the receipt or anything, but um, here it is. Pretty dope. We got like a living room space and a, and a bedroom space. Separate our living. Uh, I did see in the reviews that the rooms are really small. Like this is small for a suite. For a suite, it is small, but we still got a suite. <laughs> All right. It's Queen Elizabeth, I believe. No, I'm not sure. I don't think so. These are the Kennedys. There's John F. K. Uh huh. Is it? Yeah. Kind of looks like him, right? I think so. I'm not sure. God rest his soul. And there's that one that was in the wheelchair, right? Wait, did John F. K. get murdered in Boston? I don't know, was it Boston? Uh, I don't know. Listen, we didn't pay attention too much in school, as you guys can tell. Well, let's get settled in, and then uh, we'll go start touring this place and get into the scary stuff as soon as the sun goes down. Okay, so supposedly the most haunted room on the 10th floor was room 1073. It was so haunted that they literally got rid of the room altogether. So look, right here, it says 1072 to 1074, correct? Let's look, okay? All we got is 1072 and 1074. So this is 1073. This is 1073. They turned it into a linen room. Look, they obviously ripped it off the wall. Everything is different. Is it open? There's no way this is a room. Well, then where is 1073? They might have just switched the numbers out and added it. Maybe. That makes sense, too. Just well, to, to hide it. Huh. I don't know. Creepy stuff. A secret room that was sealed. What could be in here? I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in this hotel. The vibes, they kind of feel weird. Whoa. Even these elevators are kind of a little bit freaky. I'm kind of getting uh, the Hollywood House of Terror, you know, in Disneyland. Are you kind of scared of me? I did. I used to stand in there. Okay, rooftop ballroom. Look at this shandy. I call it a shandy, also known as a chandelier. I call that Amber Shoal because she's my Halloween. She's the same one. Listen to this audio. The ballroom. There's a deck. Wow! Look it, we're on top of the city. Check this out. Oh, that's oh, scary. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This is incredible. This is Boston. 
I want to get a Boston Terrier. It's pretty sketch, man. <laughs> Not gonna lie, look at this. We're missing pieces of the wall. This ain't no joke. This ain't no joke. I don't know where this goes. Oh, check, check this out. We can shut down power to this whole motherfucker. <laughs> This is so sus. Should we go in here? Yeah. Hopefully we learn that we go up. Okay, I'm not sure if we're still in the same hotel right now. Oh, it is the same hotel. Okay, so we made it down to the 14th floor now. That was interesting. A little exploration. Okay, that was weird. It's nighttime now, and we decided to come back up to the ballroom if it's open because the door's shut now. Um, we're gonna try to use the spirit box if it's open. This is the top floor, there's no one above us. Oh, it's locked. Damn. It's locked. All right. Got to think of a new plan. I did hear about the third floor. This is the Charles Dickens floor, where if you go into the mirror and say Charles Dickens three times, something weird could happen. Let's go find out. Okay, so this may or may not be the mirror. I think it is. Silence is cool. This is the mirror. Supposedly, well, I mean, according to historic records, Charles Dickens stayed on this third floor. And if you say his name three times in the mirror, something could happen. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but let's try it out. Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens. What was that? It sounded like a door. Maybe someone just came out of their room. That, that could have been anything. Like, someone could have literally just came out of their door, put their sign up or something, you know? That was weird, though. I will say this place has me the heebie jeebies. Yeah. What the fuck is in here? This is their service entrance. Maybe we can get up to the ball from here. Maybe. If you need a microwave? Oh wow. Should we try? Yeah, it'll be good stuff. Someone's in there, I'm out. Fifteenth floor. <gasps> There's not even a fifteenth floor in this hotel. Let's see where it goes. What are we doing? I don't know, man, but we gotta stick to it now. Might, we might be able to pull out the spirit box on the top floor. I think I'm gonna be sick. Why don't the lights just turn on? Is there a camera? I don't want to see any. I think we'll be okay. Wow. Okay. So, 
We are most definitely not allowed to be here right now because the doors are locked, but we managed to get in. We'll just say the door was propped open. We're gonna see if we can contact anything with our spirit box. If you don't know how this works, it's radio waves, picks up frequencies, and allows spirits to communicate with us. So, here we go. Is there anyone up here with us that would like to communicate? Now's your chance. I said yes. I will say, I feel like someone's watching us. I do feel that too. We're professionals. That's what it said. Please use this device to have an intelligent conversation with us. What is your name? Steve? There's someone named Steve here? Go. I just heard I killed him. Yeah? Do you feel like you're trapped here? Go away. Yeah. Get away. Help? If someone is here with us, can you wave your hand over this device? It'll allow us to know you're here. There's somebody behind you. That's the volume. Ooh, I just got chills. I keep hearing things behind us. You're my eyes. I can't see back here. Yeah, I'm just scanning. This device allows us to communicate with you. All you have to do is brush your hand above it, and it'll flicker the lights. Please let us know if you're here with us. Yo! What? Some, I just saw a face in that mirror. Yo, 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 yo. In this window right here. Yo, someone just looked through this. Yo, and you saw it on camera? No, I was I wasn't on frame. I just saw it went from black, like. Whoop, whoop. I can't even open this door anymore, dude. It's locked. Unless we unlock it, then we can come back. Yo! I'm stuck. Yo, yo, what do you mean? We're stuck. What do you mean? The fucking door won't open. Brent, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but I'm fucking stuck in here. Brent, this is our room. Jake, I'm not fucking joking, dude. Try the key, try the key. I don't have it. What do you mean it's locked? You gotta call the front desk. Oh Brent ran to the room to get the speaker for the spirit box because we were gonna go back up to that room and he started screaming about the door is locked. And we can't open it from the inside or from the outside. This is Brennan's angle from the inside. Usually you just be able to pull this open. It's not opening. Please help, sir! Help! Hey, how you doing? Somebody's stuck inside? Yeah, my brother's stuck in this door. You locked his door, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. yeah, we didn't know. Does 1004 occupy? I haven't checked. He can't open it? No, it's locked on the yeah. inside. We tried with the key card, and it okay. doesn't open. All right, I have engineering on the way up yeah. right now as oh, well. Oh, you guys don't have a key either? 
I got a key. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, yeah. it's, if it's dead. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, sir. Uh, front desk is ten oh four occupied. You don't even need a key. I'm free. I was nerve wracking in there to be honest. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I'll tell you what I know before, and if you want me to do it, I will. But in the restaurant, uh, there's a picture of Javi Parker. He's the founder of the hotel from Temple, Maine. Yeah. He died in the hotel. People say they see his ghost all over, but especially on the 14th floor, out on the balconies. Oh, really? Room 303 is a famous room because the gentleman who was a business traveler died in that room, yeah. and he used to smoke cigars and drink brandy way back in like, you know, 100 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people will, excuse me, they'll wake up in the middle of the night and say they can smell cigar smoke or brandy in that room. Wow. Oh, so 303 wow. is famous, the Javi Parker. Then one floor up I can show you is the Charles Dickens mirror, because he had a room here for two years, he'd mm -hmm. come and go, oh, really? and he used to Sorry, just they, he um, used to practice speaking into the mirror and reciting poetry in his writing. So people will say when they take pictures into the mirror, sometimes they'll get orbs of light oh, and things wow. like that. And then I have a really cool video to show you. They'll get mad if they won't let you put it on YouTube. They'll really be okay. pissed. <laughs> I've been here for years. You know the big rug that's out front? Uh -huh. It's a big welcome rug. All yeah. One says Omni. It's pretty heavy if you see yeah. it. I mean, it doesn't move in the wind. They'll take it in if it's snowing or raining. But when a guy rolls it up and carries it, it's kind of heavy. Or they'll put it on the luggage pack. Well, there's a story from about 15 years ago. True story. This guy, I've been here a long time, but this guy was here around midnight. I wasn't here, but they had him on video. He was arguing at the desk, yelling. He was really upset, drinking. And he knew about the ghost story. And when he went to leave, he got right to the revolving door. He said he was going to leave and not pay the bar bill or whatever uh -huh. it was. And the rug comes flying up oh, against the door. And it was just like tonight. There's no wind. There's no, no storm. Way. They have it on video. They so, have it actually um, on video? Yeah, so for years I've seen it, but I've never got a copy. And recently I just got a copy because we were talking about ghosts with some people, so I got it on my phone. Oh my god, but I'd love to see that. That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. There's really not much of an explanation. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, it just kind of flies up. It's a big rug, like it comes right up. So the, the moral of the story is the guy came back in and paid his bill. Oh man, wow. that's, that's all like a legendary story. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is table number 40, and this is where John F. Kennedy proposed to, JF, uh, to Jackie Hill. They were wow. sitting in these two chairs right wow. here. That's so this is a very famous table. This is that big ass rug that he was talking about. And I mean, I'm just gonna, like, that's got some weight to it. Like, there's no way that's just flying up. That's crazy. Yeah, I like blocked all the doors. That's crazy. Mm. <laughs> oh, here's the gym. Wow. Oh, Historic gallery. Oh, wow, here's Dickens. The Dickens door. Oh, it's right here. Oh, wow, door room. Wow, that's a huge door. Oh, maybe that's the door that was blocked off. Oh. They used to be a door. That would make sense. Now they sealed it. Yeah. Damn, look how big these doors were back in the day. Stand next to it. Like, I mean, keep in mind you would be like a little bit taller. Keep in mind you would be a little bit taller. Yeah, but the door, yeah. But still, like, that's huge. Like, that's like a seven foot man. This was a Parker House key tag in the 1900s. Look at these old, old keys. Crew of 1895 right there. Wow. It's crazy. This is in 1940 what it looked like. Looks exactly the same. This is 1927 it reopened. Impression of uh, the... This is the plate that they used to make the newspaper. That's sick. I've never seen this. So basically they put the paper down, there would be ink in it, and it would make it, a it newspaper. Makes, it makes this one, exactly. That exact one. Wow, how'd they get that? You know, please don't film because... We respected his wishes and we're not gonna put it on there, but what we saw was literally the story he told us. It was like someone grabbed the whole freaking carpet outside, that big ass rug, and covered up the door so that the person could not leave. I've never seen something like, as heavy as that rug is, I've never seen like, the way that that was forcibly pushed up against the windows, it, Jake was explaining it like it almost looked like two people, one on each side, picked it up and ran up against the yeah. door. Like basically blocking whoever was trying to get out without paying their bill. That was something like I've never seen before. Like this is video proof. There's no way that that could have been faked. It's recorded off of a security camera. So it's not like it's like someone was sitting there making it happen like this. It's probably the most like hardcore shit I've probably I've ever, ever seen. seen. Right, yeah. like with my own eyes. 
Incredible. I wish I could show you guys the clip, but we don't even have it. He just showed us off his phone. Yo, listen, listen, listen. Make that door to the chat. Literally no one. Something or someone keeps knocking, but when we go out there every single time, there's nobody there. Like, where does that make any sense? I'm gonna leave the webcam on, mm -hmm. just so it can record all night. Hey, wait mm. up. Did you turn this light on? No. How is it on? weird we'll have to look at the video so we checked back at the footage it recorded for eight hours and at the five hour mark this is what happens okay The light just turns on. Yeah, it's weird. There's no explanation for this. There's no nothing. Like I, I don't even know how to explain this at all. I, I can't even say like the lights are automatic or anything because they're not. Mm. You have to flip a switch. It sounds like they are automatic, like the way they turn on. Yeah, it's like but it's like... loud. Look, I, I, we don't know how to explain this at all, but we're just documenting what happened. So, look, that was our stay here at the Omni House Parker. Would you say it's haunted? I mean, there's definitely some weird vibes. Seeing as the guy showed us that video last yeah. night, like there's no doubt in my mind that there's some weird stuff going yeah. on here. I don't like the vibe of it. So that's our night here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, pick up the merch at brandontaylor.com. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>